Hello everyone, today I'm going to be giving a park tour of my park, which is known as Vacant. This park has 105 likes, it is worth 1,337,000, no, 724 dollars, and is 5 stars. But let's go in and see what there is. As you can see, there's my character right there. We have four bathrooms in the front, all of them priced at $3. This is a portal room, and all these portals head to different locations, which I'll be showing off later. But now we enter. There's standard rides that are in their basic form, and then there are the amazing rides, which I've built myself. And I will be riding every single ride. Yeah, I give that a 1 out of 10. But yeah, let's go over here. wait for this guy so this ride isn't even long but also yeah I'll just head somewhere else I'll review this place right here this is food court one it has 20 food stalls and eight restrooms and down here there are also a hat stall for each type of hat Oh, this looks like a good ride to ride. I'll ride that in a few moments. But, down here is where we get to my favorite of the rides. We have this right here, which is a drop tower. I'll give it an outer view to see just how high we go up. And I also have the maximum build height limit through Robux. I give that about 4 out of 10. It was a fun ride, but it's not the best. Oh, I have to wait for that. Now, I'm going to actually ride... <sighs> I was going to ride that, but... No, I can't. I'll just ride this. This is actually my newest ride I've built. And I hope everyone enjoys it. Because this ride had put me into debt. I should have edited the settings so I could go faster. Are you ready? We're going down. We're going down the hill, and we're going to go fast. I give that a 6 out of 10. I think it is pretty fun, but it's not the best ride ever made. How long is this ride? Oh, 71 seconds. Yeah, I can't ride the entirety of this because it would take way too long. But, yeah, it's just 
Me riding a merry-go-round. Legend? This person is literally named Legend, and they think they're a legend just because they rode the psychedelic merry-go-round. Like, you are a legend if you didn't, like, vomit while riding it. Oh, and this is also another one of the new rides I added. Because, let me tell you something. Yeah, these custom roller coasters are not cheap in the slightest. They can cost anywhere between 20000 and half of a million dollars. In fact, that giant black roller coaster that you've probably seen, that right there costs about 400000 to build. Because it is the most expensive type in the entire game. Again, why is, why is the steeplechase coaster so popular when it's the literal worst coaster in the game? No, seriously, everything and anything is better than it. You know what, I will ride it because it goes relatively fast. This thing takes forever. And that giant water slide you see behind us, actually no, in front of us, the giant water slide, we're going to ride that tail. But that is also another one of my favorite rides. I give that a 0 0.1 out of 10. That is because I hate the steeplechase coaster so much. It is that bad. And we'll show off the portals later. But there's this one coaster that is currently the second built custom coaster that I'm taking us on today. This is a spinning coaster, and it also goes all over the place. But also, hope you guys don't get motion sickness. Oh my. Oh, I... Why can't I ride it? It's clearly open. Oh. That is why I can't ride it. That needs to return back to the station. I just wasted about 40 seconds thinking it would go. But despite having tons of experience in this game, I still make, like, beginner mistakes, like, expecting single car at a time coasters to go, despite one still being on the track. Yeah, sorry if it's a little slow, but... Also, if you're wondering why there are no supports on these rides, the reason is because I actually am, to me, graphics aren't exactly the biggest concern to me when it comes to, like, stylizing. But also another thing is just, I also prefer not to have supports because they just look ugly in my opinion. And 
something about this park is that our slowest ride is barely over 10 miles an hour. And I will be riding that as well. Okay, I give that a 5 out of 10. I'm just gonna ride one of these. They're literally the same ride. The only difference is that it's just a model change. This is the newer model, and this is the classic model. Or the legacy model, as the game calls it. Yeah, it's pretty standard. Oh, and I, yeah, I have multiple of these. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ride it once. How is this an intense ride? If the game classifies this as an intense ride, even though most like Kitty Land rides are more intense than this. That merry-go-round is more intense than that. Then we head to one of my favorite parts in the entire park. Oh, my. Wait, how long does this ride take? Oh, it only takes a minute. That's good. Let's... Oh, there it is. And here we go. We are going to be riding in this, which I call the Neon Cave Experience. We have food port number two, which contains half as much stuff as food port number one. But... It also has neon lights, which makes it better. Here we go through. But, one of my favorite parts is coming up soon. Is that it's a car, most likely a Hugo or a Tremont. Like one of those cheap cars in the Soviet Union or Yugoslavia. Fireweights. Fireweights for those cars. How terrible they are. Bye. Blue Laps. Yeah, this is one of my favorite rides, and I actually think it is a 7 out of 10. Yeah, let's go up and see any more rides up here. Oh, there's a Ferris wheel up there. Oh, no, I have to wait for this ride. I hate when I have to wait for rides. Luckily, it was a short wait. Okay, we're riding this ride, which... This is a partial preset ride. Because the game recently added, had an update where it added preset rides for people who don't know how to build roller coasters, or just don't feel like it. Which, it's fine if you don't know or don't feel like it, but why would you use pre-builds when you can build your own custom roller coasters that can go hundreds of miles per hour, even thousands if you're really lucky, and have enough money. And this is my favorite part of the ride. And that is it. Now we have to go through this boring part. And don't worry, we'll ride the giant hybrid coaster in the background. Oh. 
Wait, is there any... Nope, there's nobody else online right now. So I get this entire server to myself. I think that's actually pretty nice. This is a flying coaster. But I'd much rather more show you this. It's a pretty quick ride, only 84 seconds. But also it is about 800 meters long. Or about at least, yeah, it is around 2,600 something feet. For anyone who is watching and doesn't really understand the metric system. But yeah, it may look slow, but it actually has speed boosts. That is the fastest it ever goes. Originally, I had this set to 500% speed, which made it go like 40 miles per hour, and the ride was only like 20 seconds long. Which I thought would just ruin the experience, because it's a classic car ride and you want more time on it. So I decided to make it slower. And also, this is actually one of my most popular of my new rides. Well, other than that one generic green coaster I have back there. Yeah, right. Oh my. You know what, I'll show you later. Yeah, that one right there in front of us. Fact. Okay, maybe by the time we get back, that will actually be at the ground and we can ride it. Which I hope is the case. Okay, we made it before and there's Malachi and Mark. How are you doing? Excited flying coaster? Same thing. Alright, in the back. Now we can get a first-person view in daytime of this ride. Despite this going slow, I actually think it's a little bit of a cool ride because it has a corkscrew version. Well, a very tight corkscrew. Because it's not like most traditional corkscrews on a roller coaster. Instead, it's more of a smaller version. Okay, I might give that ride a 4 out of 10. This one right here, 8 out of 10. This is a really pleasant ride, in my opinion, and it's just so enjoyable. Yes, let's see this ride. It just barely goes 10 miles per hour at its top speed. Which, I am not riding that. At all. In fact, I am actually going to ride the giant hybrid coaster that is one of if not the most recognizable parts of my park but also this thing has a little vertical drop it also is almost a mile long and has a top speed of 205 kilometers per hour or 125 miles per hour but the fastest one is something you'll have to wait for.
and that was it. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Also, in this park, it was actually my first ride I've ever built. Well, this park, I haven't just built normally. I've also torn down the park two separate times, entirely by hand. Because when you use the menu option, it doesn't give you your money back. Which, why even have it if it doesn't give you your money back? Oh, we're just going to take a view on this ride. Oh, I just realized it's almost over. But also... I am fairly certain that I have over 500 trash cans in this park. Yeah, I'm so afraid of my guests littering that I have hundreds of trash cans. Easily about 500. You know what? Figuring out just what viewing angle to see the ride at. Okay, we're going pretty fast. Yeah, that... That is... I'm guessing... Yeah, this is the highest ride we'll go. An example of Roblox's perfect physics. And you can't criticize their physics. Their physics are 100% accurate to real life. Well, real life, if humans were robots and had complete tons of malfunctions. Also, this is also a train station. We have hatch stops. A food court, which is the third one so far. Bathrooms, of course. Even more trash cans. More hat shops, because why not? Only one person has bought a dino hat from there. Sometimes, why do I even bother placing hat shops down? But you know what? I'm actually gonna ride this monorail. because it's a super quick way to get around the park. Yeah, these right here are set to 500% speed. Okay, and now we're here to one of, if not my favorite parts of the park. The Crater of Face-Melting Speed. This is where the magnum opus of my park is. A 200 a $215,000 roller coaster called Death Launch Ride If You Dare. I had made a previous video on it, which was a POV, but this is my favorite roller coaster, so of course I'm going to ride it. And as that video I stated, there is a possible epilepsy warning due to how fast it goes. This is also the fastest one as it reaches 916 miles per hour. We have more hat stalls because why not? Then we have this ride which I will gladly ride. And there is no warning for this ride. All it is is just spinning in a circle. Oh and that death launch ride. That is probably my most ridden ride in this entire park. Because everything except for guest satisfaction 
is a 10 out of 10. Which means I can charge like $60 for it, and people will still think it's incredibly cheap. Okay, let's go up. See if there's anything else we should go on. Oh, there's two standard coasters. There's this one right here, which I definitely need to go on. Let's see. Oh, it's leaving the station. I cannot have it leave the station without me. Wait. <gasps> Wait up! There, we finally got on. It only involved sprinting on the tracks with an active coaster car that possibly weighs like 10 tons, like the real life things. Oh, and I also have a fun fact. Did you know that most steel roller coaster cars weigh about as much as a school bus? And yeah, that is if they have like a ton of cars, like about 8 or so. But since this game has a 7 car limit, it doesn't reach that limit. So, that means, at heaviest, each of these cars can weigh as much as a mid-2000s Hyundai Santa Fe. But also, we're heading down. Oh, and this is nearly a kilometer long. saying at this point but yeah back in 2020 when there was social distancing and all that yeah I probably played this game for like 150 hours yeah of course there's more restrooms more food stalls even more rides oh no that water ride has already taken off. Oh, and we still have a surprisingly large amount left of the park. Because just because we rode a bunch of the major rides doesn't mean we're done. But this is also one of my favorite rides. Yeah, it's nice and fast, it's steep, and it's also super high up. Oh, and it's a cool moon. That's nice, there's werewolves. Yep, that was it for that. Let's see, what is a ride I have not ridden? Okay, I have- Oh, I have not ridden the Viking ship. And I completely forgot there's an observation tower. Then, in there, I forgot to tell you what was in there. You know what? There's two observation towers in the park. There's one way right here. Which, yeah, I'd rather ride that one. But this is it. Just, uh... Yeah, the Yugo or Trabant or whatever you want to call it is in here. Then there's some generic Isuzu or... Whatever. Like, that... Like, that 
Yeah, you know like those industrial grade trucks you see on the road that have that logo from a company that starts with like an I or an S? Yeah, they're from Japan. I don't I don't really know what that is, company is, but Yeah, it kind of reminds me of those trucks. You know what? Since I'm the owner of this park, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I have a free unlimited fast pass that nobody can get access to. Why? Well, first off, I'm the literal owner of this park. Two, I had to pay cold hard cash to build all these rides. And when building them, I didn't get a construction team like everyone else does. I had to build it by hand. Or the rides were already pre-built. But yeah, it's a Viking ship. Yeah, this is something that most amusement parks in the world have. Whether they be small or major, they have them. But then there's... The food court area in here, this is what it actually looks like. And yeah, that's basically it. Let's see what else we have. Oh. Yeah, then we have this ride, which I will gladly ride. It's not as cool as that drop tower over there, but... It's still super cool. This is just sad. Sad and pathetic. Like, what even is this? Yeah, I hate this ride. Oh, and I was supposed to be giving a rating to all these rides. Yeah, I forgot to do that for a majority of them, but... Yeah, at the end of this, I will have a list that actually has all the rides listed down, and my opinion rating on them. And that multi-launch coaster that's just randomly floating, that's not a normal roller coaster. That is actually a cannon, which you could launch yourself into other people's parks with. But just look how big this place is. Yeah, we still eat- even from here, we still have places to go to. There's this right here, we need to ride the entirety of this metro way, we need to test that out. Then there's this right here, which we haven't even touched. There's even a swan ride down there I haven't even been to. Yeah, there's a lot we still need to go to. Why is this ride so long? Actually, no, I'm pretty sure this might actually be the slowest ride. But even that is probably... Yeah, that's probably not true, because the next ride we're riding is actually possibly even slower. And it looks like it's about ready. Come on, please go down.
Yeah, I just want to get... Just want to get to the ride. I don't care if it's left the station by the time I get out in. I just want to be able to actually get on. There. Front POV. And this ride right here is five minutes long. And during this ride, I'll play some future plans I have for this part. Some of my future plans for this part include adding significantly better decorations around. Because this part's strongest part is the rides, but its weakest part is decoration. Because yeah, there's just a bunch of random things scattered around. That's it. But yet, 105 people have liked my park over its nearly two years of existence. Which, yes, this park has existed for over two years. Actually, no, around two years. And just be ready, this is going to take such a long time. I'm fairly certain this thing does two laps. Meaning that we have to go through this almost entirely under 10 miles per hour twice. In fact, this ride is more like six minutes long. So, if you're listening to Bohemian Rhapsody from when I got on the ride, the song will almost certainly be over by the time I'm on. that. I don't know. Well. You know what, I'm only gonna do one lap of this ride. Because it would take way too long to do two laps. Yeah, it's already been two and a half minutes so far. Probably even yeah, even that downhill is slow. Yeah, I need to ride the entirety of this. Which I call the Vacant Metro. Yes, that is actually what I named my park. And I'm proud of it, because whenever people walk up, they'll be thinking, this park isn't vacant, it has people. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this monorail, yeah, it goes well over 100 miles an hour. And when I mean miles per hour, I mean kilometers per hour. Actually, I'm... Actually, no, I actually think it goes more like... Wait, what's actually... Okay, yeah, it's a top speed of about 120 miles an hour, but that's because I put a bunch of 200% speed like boosters on it, which doesn't make the experience that pleasant, but other than that, it still goes like 50 miles an hour. And this is the Swan Rock. Yeah, this is a super calm, you know, it's a calm, family-friendly ride right next to a roller coaster that goes faster than the speed of sound. Yeah, that's totally good park management. Oh, and if you're wondering, 
this ride, it outputs 13 Gs of lateral force. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, and if you saw, it only takes 20 seconds for a full ride. And, well, you know what, let me just show you again. 3,420 meters long. That right there is about three and a half kilometers around that much. And it does that in just 20 seconds. Of Oh my. All the force, every single force is over 10 Gs or negative 10 Gs. Which, yeah, is not good when you consider just how dangerous this is. Oh, and I have made $144,000 from this ride. And that is a lot of people who actually want to experience just true suffering in theme park form. Oh, thank gosh nobody is thinking of it. Because once they realize how fast it goes and you know, actually go to school to understand what that speed does to literally anything. Yeah, they'll they want to stay far away from this ride. And do you know what? 13 G's is generous. That is probably the most generous you could possibly give it. It has to be at least 30 G's or something. Hello, anyone home? Yeah, this is a ride that I made that's a dark ride. Yeah, it's more abstract than normal. Oh. Yeah, sorry if we aren't starting from the front. But I still have a decent amount of stuff to show still. And I actually built myself my own little penthouse in this whole thing. Yeah, two-floor penthouse filled with custom decals that I uploaded to Roblox myself. Yeah, almost all of the images I use in this park were made by me, or they were taken from the internet and I uploaded them to Roblox. And yes, this ride is seriously slow. Oh, this ride is slow. At one point, I was actually thinking of making a game in Roblox. But after looking at this game, I realized just how absolutely just mentally stressful this game probably was to make, like, let alone code, because how do you even know what you're even trying to code? Because you can't just look at tutorial on how to code a game, yeah, you can't just find a game tutorial, or a game that doesn't exist and that's something you're making, you can't just do that. But yeah, I give this ride like a 3 out of 10. It's not the best. And there's something I'm actually wondering. Is there anyone in the server? Because if there's someone in the server, I am actually going to be quite impressed. Nope. Of course there's no one in the server. Why not? Oh, and if you're wondering... Yeah, I'm playing... I'm currently playing this game at the totally optimal time of... You know... Just... I don't even... I don't even know how late this is at this point. Okay, we just have... An ugly tree down there.
but also, yeah, I'm just, wait, have I actually ridden all the rides? Okay, I haven't ridden that observation tower, but it's the same thing as that, but that is just the updated model for it. But yeah, I'm gonna go around my park and give a rating to all the rides. This right here, 6 out of 10. This, 0 0.1 out of 10. This carousel cart, I don't even know what I would give it, but I would give it psychedelic horses out of 10. Gravitron. Yeah, I would give this a uh, 2 out of 10. This ride. I... Yeah, it's a 6 out of 10. This... Uh, 6 out of 10 too. Yeah. This is about a 2 out of 10. This right here is spinning coaster. That is about a 7 out of 10. This is a 1 out of 10. This is a 4 out of 10. My opinion, this right here is a 0.5 out of 10 since they're literally everywhere. This space rings, yeah, I give that a 1 out of 10. Teacups, um. I like how they're designed, so yeah, that's a 2 out of 10. Corkscrew, 3 out of 10. Ferris wheel, oh I forgot, I have not ridden the ferris wheel yet. Then we have this ride, Steel Coaster, or Neon Cave Experience. Yeah, that is a 7 out of 10. Then we have... This hybrid coaster, 9.5 out of 10. It is my favorite ride in the entire park. This, 7 out of 10. This right here, 0.4 out of 10. Because this is sad. It's a sad excuse for a ride. Then we have the drop tower which is customized yeah that right there um yeah I give that a 6 out of 10 this I don't know what possessed me to build a 6 minute long roller coaster that has a top speed of 11 miles an hour but yeah just for the idea of this thing could have possibly exist in real life. I give this a 0 0.01 out of 10. Yeah, this ride in here, mm, a 3 out of 10. Then we have this one right here. This is the steel coaster. Yeah, I give that a 6 out of 10. Then I might have already gave my rating on that. But then we have Death Launch Ride If You Dare. This is a 9.2 out of 10. And it's the only ride in the entire park that I would actually advise you not to ride. If you have any form of vision issues or photosensitive epilepsy how are there five people in the game right now how like this park review is going on a long time and just took all that just for them to appear swan boats oh thank you um Geoduck Zero, thank you for liking my park. Swan boats, 
5.5 out of 10. This, 3.2 out of 10. But there's an issue. I haven't written everything still. And trust me, I have written basically everything in this park. I've only written this part way. Yeah, this, 7 out of 10. Oh, there it is. You know, the bullet train cars. Now, let's sit and wait for it to accelerate. Of course we have to stop. Like, just why? Why do we have to stop? Like, this is just terrible of a reason to stop. There's literally nobody at that station. But, I do need to stop at this station for the last official ride. And yeah, this ride is only 60 seconds long, but I highly doubt that. But 60 seconds is if there's, like, actual characters on it. Do you know what was sad? This thing cost 16,000. And only 8 people have ridden it. And I've had this thing in the game for a very long time. But you know what, after this, I'm actually going to check out some of the other people's parks to see... Okay, Biofred, and I'm pretty sure Veiling Geoduck Zero. Yeah, their parks are probably, like, um, I don't want to say not good, but I, I don't even know. I don't know until I see them. And yeah, Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel gets 4 out of 10. Let me go here. And once we reach the station, we will reach a full, complete revolution worth of riding for this thing. For this just overly fast, overly aggressive monorail. There we go. Oh, and on the bright side, there is a conveniently placed portal. Wonder where it goes. Oh, it heads here! And yes, so I'll show you where all these portals go. This one right here. Heads over here to the park. Way over there is where the portal is. Where the mouse is. Right by this slow abomination. And yes. These are all pictures that I've made. Oh my. Get out of the way so I can actually like... Yeah, just let this sink in. I am one of the backyard agains. But, you might be wondering, what is behind this blue portal? Fame? Fortune? No. My penthouse. <laughs> And yes, we have two cars sword fighting for some reason. This TV has a like one of those like fuzzy screens for no signal, but it has the Canadian flag over it. Yeah, of course, there's a bathroom in here. Barrels that are filled with water. And Aston Martin V12 Vantage S. Then this right here is actually a. This is part 5 out of 6 of a 6.5 hour long album that 
like, there is no way I could find time to listen to the entire thing. And this right here... This right here is based off of a painting by someone who is known as Bekshinsky. They were a Polish painter, and their paintings don't have na- Yeah, his paintings don't have names, but I took the original painting and edited it to look like this. Yeah, and of course we have this for some reason, because why not? This is stage four. This is stage six. This is stage one. Oh, now it's... Now the TV has no signal, but we're in the United Kingdom. The old Roblox logo. My character. And then a picture from the Marianas Trench, or a render of it. I don't know how that picture was taken. Balcony number one. Just exquisite. And yes, there are a ton of trash cans in here, despite, like, the characters not even having access to this place. Balcony number two is also amazing. Now, we reach a higher floor. This is the floor right here. Why are you peeling the banana from the wrong side? This is what I call the meme floor. Then, there's, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Obama, and Bill Nye the Science Guy telling you that you need to eat the brown part of the banana, because it's healthy for you. Then we have this, the Sus Among Us corner. I don't... I don't even know why this corner exists, but, yeah, it's just something that exists. Oh, and then we have a view of the cave coaster, and that is basically it to my pet house. And, uh, was there anything else I needed to show? Let's see. What? Remy? Remy? Uh, you're, you're thirsty? You know what? Like, shouldn't you be working at Gusto's right now? You know, making Michelin star quality food? Or... Oh wait, I think it's probably your day off and you're just heading to the theme park. Oh well. But also, I have also decided to check out other people's parks and see which park is the best. Because for what I'm aware of, my park might actually not be the best. But let's go. 106 likes. Goodbye vacant. Hello, Skipperpers Theme Park. You know what? I always give likes to theme parks that are just starting out. Really? That looks like more than $7,000 worth of payment. Wait, the park is $20 to enter? My park... Oh, this... Whoever the owner of this park is, I have one word of advice. Ooh, this is actually a nice coaster, I'm not gonna lie. No, it's one of the pre-builts, but the pre-builts are still decently nice. But, I have one suggestion.
there. Just please add trash cans. That is literally all I had to say. I wasn't going to say anything else. That's all. Other than that, this park's actually doing pretty good. That is awful. If you were to put down one trash can, I would be happy. But yeah. So far in the condition, I give this park... Um... Let's see... Okay, when it comes to decoration, I would say that it's lower than the decoration in my park, but definitely not the lowest I've ever seen. Ooh. Fun, I guess. Four and a half stars. Ooh, it's a fairly big park. But let's see. We have some similar models of rides that I have. A non-psychedelic carousel. Ooh, one of these, but... Just... It's just sad compared to the one I made. But for all I know, this person might not have ride control options. But... If you're ever going to... Okay, I at least support the effort of you putting down trash cans. Because when you have a big area like this, you can't just put trash cans down because it would look ugly. Yeah, you can't... This is one of the most confusing grounds I've seen in a while, but... Don't worry. If anybody finds out about the parks here and is wondering what the worst park I've ever seen is, yeah, it's probably a park I don't even remember seeing. And it's just probably some miserable excuse of a park. Ooh, what's in here? This is actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. Well, I understand why you can't really put trash cans in the maze. Because, well, that would make it easier for the guests. But yeah. On a scale of... Yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10. I would probably put my park at... Mm, about an 8. This I would put at about a 6, and that I would put at about a 2. But since they're starting, usually, yeah, if they weren't just starting out, I would actually put this park more at, um, yeah, I'd put it more at just a one. If it, like, weren't just starting, like, if they had been playing the game for years. Crucifix theme park. Uh, oh my, this is a huge park that's loading. This looks prom, this actually looks quite promising, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, wooden coaster, that means this person must be pretty rich. Because those are like one of the most expensive coasters in the entire game. Let's see. Ooh, money farms. Probably been watching a lot of theme park tycoon videos and realizing money farms are good. Yeah, I don't have money farms because, yeah, I enjoy playing this game so much that just me wandering around is basically the equivalent of me just being away from keyboard or AFK as a lot of the cool kids call it. 
Okay, cool coaster, but this just looks like what kind of a dip is this? This 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 cannot be healthy for you. Absolutely not. Okay, I like the hill. The downhill's okay. It's okay and Okay, I actually think it's okay until about here, just what? Like, it is so bad here that the game can't even properly process these wooden boardwalks. And, yeah, that's one of the things it should be able to process. But, other than that, I actually think that's a good coaster. And the other coasters are looking great as well. It may not be the, the most complex, like, yeah, I'm not one to judge on that, because I sometimes still, even up to this day, sometimes I still just make simple loops, or make coasters that are like 30 seconds long, and that's it. But, this kind of reminds me of when I was, like, just starting out a little. Like, when I was, like, about a few hundred days into the game, where, like, yeah, when I first started playing, I would usually, like, play one day, then, like, not play for, like, a while. But, yeah. I'd give this par... Oh. The previous park left. So, well. Okay. I get eight, two... Zero, since there's no one there. And now, for this park, I give it a 6 point... Um, I'm gonna go with 6.3. Ooh! You know what, I'll, I'll give this park a like, because this person needs it. One, three, four, one, big Pappy's theme park. Okay. Um. Um, I'm, wait, what even? Oh, it's soft drinks, but. I'm pretty sure for the amount of soft drinks you are, there's enough pretty sure there's so much sugary beverages here that it's enough to kill an entire herd of elephants from high blood sugar or something like that. Pretty cool for a small park. We have that ride right there. This ride which I have. The non-psychedelic, um, whatever this ride is even called. Ooh, and it's full. That is like a crazy rare scene. Like to have a ride completely full. Yeah, this part gets uh, three. Actually, no. You know what? Your park is small. I think your park deserves a like. Bailing Geoduck Zero's Theme Park. Ooh, not that bad. Okay, there's... Oh, thank you. You have every food stall and two soda stalls. But yeah, you have every single food stall. Yeah, you don't have the hat stalls yet, which... Mm, that's okay. Not everyone has the hat stalls. And this is definitely one of the preset rides. I just know it within me. It's the preset and nobody can tell me different. But yeah, I'm gonna take the, a little ride on this. Wait, just one more.
B.O. Your parents must not have really liked you that much. Seriously, who only has a name of two letters? Seriously, whose name is only two letters? I understand, like, AJ, because... Yeah, I think that name actually has something else. I'm not 100% sure, but... Yeah, I'm fine of names like... Oh. That was pretty unfortunate. But... Yeah, I'm gonna head back to my park and, well, leave the game. Because right now I'm... Just... Mm, I'm just feeling done at this point, playing this game. Where I've been playing for like, I think like, oh, there you go.